vulnerabilities. Let's do a quick review of UDP before we talk about some of its vulnerability. UDP is a connectionless transport layer protocol. When we compare it to TCP, what we find is that UDP does not have any reliability, flow control or error recovery mechanism. And because of this, the fields that we would see in a TCP header that are used for those features are not present in a UDP header. Therefore, we have less overhead than TCP. When we use UDP, the header is very simple and the checksum value is optional. UDP is commonly used by DNS, SNMP, NFS and TFTP as well as with real-time applications such as voice over IP. Now looking at the UDP header, what you will notice is that we do have a very simple header and we said that this UDP checksum here this 16-bit UDP checksum is something that is optional. Now the data inside here is data that we create that checksum of, of. So therefore an attacker could modify the data that is inside this header and simply replace this UDP checksum. UDP by itself is not protected by any encryption that would be something that you would have to add on. So therefore it make it real easy for a user to look at your traffic and basically put themselves into the conversation and inject certain type of data. Now this is one type of attack that we see with UDP. But most attack that we see with UDP involves exhausting the resources on the network. So in this example, let's assume that we have an attacker and the attacker machine want to consume all of the resources on this network. On the subnet that this device is on, perhaps maybe on the subnet that the server farm is on. So what commonly happen is we will use an application like UDP Unicorn and it is going to let us send a UDP flood attack. So we have these UDP packets, oftentimes the IP header information with our source IP address is going to be spoofed. It will be some other host that is on this subnet or a host that is not present. And so the attacker will flood a server with these packets, just as many as possible. And it will sweep the entire range of ports, hoping perhaps that the port is closed in this case. And what's going to happen when that port is closed is our server is going to reply back with an ICP, ICMP port unreachable message. When it replies back with that ICMP port unreachable to every single UDP segment that it receives, eventually it is going to consume a lot of the bandwidth that is on the segment here. Now we saw an attack similar to this with the SQL Slammer Worm. This was circa 2003. This is just a classic example of UDP flood, flooding. So that SQL Slammer would eventually flood that network. Now it did involve more than just flooding the network. It involved a buffer overflow attack and then a flooding of the network from there. But again, it is just another example of how UDP is commonly used as vulnerability or commonly exploited. So the two attack that we typically see there is data manipulation with a brand new checksum as well as the exhaustion of resource with UDP flooding. So I will finish here UDP uh, vulnerabilities. So please subscribe our channel for more tutorial and interesting uh, screencast. Thank you so much.